Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new update for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that rolled out last night or in the early hours of the morning today if you are in Europe. Now on the actual website they do not go into detail at all about this update. They just talk about pleasant gameplay improvements or something like that. But don't worry, we're going to be breaking down everything you need to know about update 1.1.3 for the Generation 4 Remake. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off. Yes, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl just got a new update. It is now 1.1.3. Um, and this was tweeted out by PLDH saying a new update is live for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl bringing the games to version 1.1.3 again if you have auto updates on or anything like that it'll just I guess update in the background when you're on your switch you don't even need to bother about it um, but if you don't have automatic updates on you'll have to actually go and update it uh, manually by going into the settings of the game uh, and then going on software update and it'll download it um, however though as I said the patch notes are very 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 minimal um, so PLDH tweeted out again saying Nintendo has released patch notes for BDSP's version 1.1.3 update, but well, it's more of a patch note, singular and hardly informative. It says fixed some issues for more pleasant gameplay. And they're not lying. If you go to the actual website, it, that's literally all it says. It says fix some issues for more pleasant gameplay. That might be, single-handedly, the worst patch note I've ever seen in my life. Like, what do we go off? Like, surely they should give us more detail on what has and hasn't been fixed because we need to know when we're playing the game if there's certain bugs about, like, something in the game. Like, I, I, I can't fathom how this has been allowed. Like, who's given this the green light? Who's been like, yeah, that's all right. It's literally a copy and paste from version 1.1.2. So some issues have also been fixed for more pleasant gameplay. Fix some issues for more pleasant gameplay. It's literally a copy and paste. At least in 1.1.2, we got another bloody sentence. I mean, it's honestly laughable Like that that is the patch notes. Like They do not go into detail at all about what they've actually changed. They did a massive patch note um, session uh, in, in version 1.1.0, like talking about all these different things. But yeah, they, honestly, I feel like they just can't be bothered to just write up what's changed about the game. Um, so yeah, honestly, not being given a lot to go off. Uh, the only reason that we kind of know what has been updated is because of the multiple sources on like Twitter and stuff like that that we're obviously going to be breaking down today. Um, but yeah, I mean, without them, we would know nothing about what's changed in the game. So yeah, honestly, kind of laughable uh, from Nintendo that they just haven't done any kind of patch note at all but it is what it is i mean we should be used to it i mean look at 1.1.1 and then 1.1.2 and then 1.1.3 like they generally are just putting a sentence and then that's it but anyway let's take a look at what patch notes we know so far now again this might not be all of them there might be a few more this is just what's been found so far so this is the first one and it was originally found by um famo8619 and he tweeted out saying, not sure if it's been pointed out already, but I noticed the underground Pokemon have a smaller encounter radius. And that seems to be an update in 1.1.3. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the hitboxes of these Pokemon in the hideaways in the underground were just enormous. Like you could walk into a room and you could be seeing a Bulbasaur at the other end of the bloody hideaway and then you'd go into the battle. Like honestly, you could be nowhere near them and the hitboxes were so bad. It needed changing and it looks like has been changed. So PLDH tweeted out saying, definitely seems like the hitboxes in the grand underground have shrunk. I'm finding it much easier to actually navigate the Pokemon dens. You have to actually directly collide with a Pokemon now, like in this clip with Bulbasaur, instead of a somewhat wide bubble around them. And as you can see, this is the clip. Let me just start it again. Um, he's running around the Bulbasaur, and it's just not initiating the battle, which is really nice. Like, you actually have to be inside the Pokemon like this, 
for the battle to actually go ahead, which is really, really nice because you know when you're kind of trying to dodge and weave Pokemon, especially if you're shiny hunting something specific or looking for a specific Pokemon or whatever, and you got random Onyxes just coming out of nowhere and attacking you when they're bloody nowhere near you. It was so annoying. Um, so I'm really, really happy that this has actually been um, sorted out. And this is a huge dub um, for Ilka sorting this out. But again, could have put that in the patch notes. Could have been like, oh, hitboxes in the Grand Underground are a little bit less tragic. No, they didn't. They just said pleasant gameplay. <laughs> anyway, that's the first one we're going to take a look at. Next up, we have this. Um, so this was, again, tweeted out by PLDH. Uh, and again, if I guess they find out any more patch notes, they will tweet out about them. So make sure to go, you know, follow them or whatever if you are interested in the patch notes. I mean, I'll be covering them anyway. But yeah, if you do want to know them straight away, then yeah, I guess go follow this Twitter account. But then they go on to say, when the player had exhausted their repel, BDSP would simply ask if they'd like to use another one. And this would catch players off guard as the prompt didn't specify what item is being used. This has been addressed in the version 1.1.3 update. Date. Um, so yeah, basically when you ran out of a repel, um, it would say, uh, you know, do you want to use another one? Um, but now it says repels effect wore off. Would you like to use another one? So again, I guess it just helps you realize that you are using repels. I mean, even though you already knew you were using repels, but I guess that's just a like, little quality of life update thingy. Um, but yeah, that is um, something else that again has been updated in 1.1.3. Again, could have been addressed in the patch notes, but they didn't think it was worth it. Uh, next up, we're going to be going over this one as well. So this was tweeted out from Pokey Experto. And they said version 1.1.3 makes it impossible to access the menu error using flight from the Pokemon clock. So I think this was the way to do the new kind of uh, menu glitch in order to clone Pokemon and stuff. I think you had to fly or something and then that allowed you to use the double menu glitch or whatever. Which again was used to clone Pokemon items and everything like that. Now apparently that's impossible. So this... Um, update has not only kind of addressed this pleasant gameplay it's also addressed um the cloning glitch once again so i don't know if you can clone in 1.1.3 i'm sure people will find out how to do it um soon enough but as of right now uh it's impossible to use that method to access the cloning glitch you can't do the fly method whatever um so yeah that's something to also think about like if you're trying to clone pokemon and stuff by doing that method you won't be able to do that right now um, next up, we have this to go over, which I guess might be a reason they didn't add it to the patch notes. But um, basically, like, if you don't know, like, the original Registeel kind of sprite had, like, loads and loads of controversy around it. And they had to eventually change it. Um, but version 1.1.3 of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl has updated Registeel sprite from the original games. This sprite was controversial at the time. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, actually. Um, but basically, yeah, that was um, the reason it got changed and was controversial and stuff like that and and i don't know how they messed that up like how do they how do they not realize that they put that back in the game so yeah i'm glad that's been changed but um that was i guess another reason they probably didn't update the patch notes because it's quite embarrassing to leave something like that in um but either way finishing things off though we have this short summary as well from pokey kalos um a few more updates again we don't know if these are all of them because they didn't tell us the patch notes but these are the ones that we found so far uh and pokey experto or pokey Callow, should i say um says an update was deployed last night 1.1.3 in summary the glitch of cloning via the pokemon uh pokemon tray fixed i don't know what that means i'm guessing that's the whole fly glitch so ba basically you can't glitch uh, and clone pokemon and stuff by using the fly method it then goes on to say glitch of the resale of objects from the great underground fixed. Now, I don't know what that glitch is. I haven't really heard anything about that. Glitch of the resale of objects from the great underground fixed. So I guess, can you buy something in the grand underground and then you could sell it in Pokemarts or something? I'm really not too sure. I don't know what that means. I haven't seen any glitches about that. Uh, maybe you guys know more than me, but yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Hopefully we get a little bit more information about that soon. Again, if we get any more updates, about these patch notes i will include them in future videos it's just these are the ones that i found as of right now um and then also it says shaman removed from the game so even if you can kind of use the menu glitch to go to flower paradise shaman has now been removed from the game i think ilk were just like can't be bothered you know keep people keep bloody finding these glitches let's just let's just kick shaman out of the game so just like they did with dark right well they hadn't really kicked him out but he just wasn't there um, that's exactly what they've done with Shaman. So if you went to um, Darkrai's Island, you could go there, but he just wasn't there. That's apparently going to be the situation with uh, Shaman now. So if you do go to the Flower Paradise, Shaman just will not be there. Um, so again, if you do update your game and you are shiny hunting Shaman or whatever, 
I don't know what happens. I don't know honestly what happens. If you save your game and then you update and you are in the Flower Paradise already, I don't know what happens, man. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, Shaman won't be there anymore. Apparently, you know, I've not obviously tested it and stuff. That's just, again, what people are saying. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's just... I mean, they should have done that originally, I guess. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't have just removed Shaman in 1.1.2. Uh, especially, I'm guessing, because of these, like, events that are going to come out in the future. Like, we know we're going to get events because Darkrai and Shaman's, you know, islands are in the game. Um, I guess it's just going to tie in with Legends Arceus or something. Because we know they, they're going to be post-game in Legends Arceus. Um, we just don't know when we're going to get access to them in, in Generation 4 remakes. But yeah, that's basically going to be everything for the big update for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Again, I've not updated my game yet. I'm still Shiny Hunting Shaman. So, although, it's kind of coming out with some nice quality of life updates now. Like, this is really, really handy. Um, and obviously this is, I mean, it's it's handy, but it's not really life-changing. But yeah, this is something that I really kind of want to update my game for, because this is really annoying with these hitboxes. But again, what are your thoughts on all of these updates for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Let me know. Um, but yeah, cloning seems to be gone again, but I, I wouldn't hold my breath to think that it's not going to be back very soon. Either way, though, that's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.